So, why am I here? I'm an architect and I write. I don't write about history and theory. I don't even write about spaces. I write codes. Basically, long, boring text files, sets of instructions, written as a computational languages, as a syntax. I'm an architect, but I don't draw. Yet, if you execute those protocols, they generate highly intricate and precise 3D geometries. That's the glamour part of the job. The easy part, the generative part. As an architect, my medium is the physical world. That's where actually I realize the very schizophrenic relationship between computation and fabrication. On one hand, computation, with very little amounts of lines, allows to generate very quickly complexity. Complexity here understood as massive amount of data, or in my field, geometries. On the other hand, we have fabrication. Fabrication required simplicity, maximizing the repetition, the similarities. So, Computation is basically our text file that we wrote has to address both ends. We have to go from form generation up to form description. Basically, describing the resulting object as sets of parts, a gigantic 3D puzzle, if you want. Yet, there is only a certain, amount, a certain number of parts or information that a normal human being is able to handle being, before being completely frustrated. So how do we build this? How do we go from the too many to the very least? How do we go from a shape which is non-linear, or branch, into very linear set and sequence of assembly? That's where it starts. First, the generative aspect. Few points in space, coordinates, that get linked together, then get thickened up, eventually get relaxed, which means we submit to surface tension. Again, the generative part, the easy part. The descriptive part cannot happen with simple principle of descriptive geometry. It needs to happen through little agents, little encapsulated part of codes that we write with behavior. They actually seek something on the geometry. They seek to go high, they seek to go around the geometry, they seek themselves or even avoid themselves. Once they let trajectories onto the geometry, we can actually add all sorts of information, holes, connections, thickness, and bring back to the world of geometry. Why would we bring back to the world of geometry? Simply in order to be, to be able to unfold them. Unfold them means we can unfold them flat, planar, onto standard sheets of material. Here you can say, see a whole set of 4 by 8 standard sheets of aluminium, where all the parts are described onto it, and eventually reassemble that in a complete seamless structure, some kind of monocoque, except that it's not a monocoque. It's a polycoque structure. It's actually a structure through continuity of skin, but made out of many parts, or at least the least as possible. That piece was shown during the Art Basel Miami this year. It's made out of metal of one millimeter thick. It can actually sustain up to three people on the top. We are not trying to mimic any kind of natural references here. We actually need curvature. We need curvature for the structure aspect of it. So such type of principle, getting rid of any primary structure, only having structure within the skin, give us design freedom, enable us to actually make twists into geometry, and enable us to do what I would call massive change of uh, massive, forgot my word, I'll pick it up next time. Um, basically, we can go from a network, a structure, up to a surface. A surface being the minimal definition of space enclosure. Another project, nine meters long, at the Centre Pompidou in Paris, part of their permanent collection, does the opposite. We go from a space, a surface, where we actually grow the structure out of it. We can insert function onto it. That's a pop-up store for a jewelry brand. And that's what we specialize, basically, with my studio, the very many in Brooklyn. 
we actually try to write and build complex geometries in a certain way. But more than that, we actually try to provide an experience, an experience of art as architecture. I'm an architect and I write. I don't write about space, but I like to believe that I literally write space. Thank you.